Hello, hello magic makers. Thank you so much for coming back one day more. And if you are new, welcome to my tarot series. Today we will be talking about Aquarius energy. So you if you are Aquarius sun or uh, you have Aquarius in the moon, in Venus or rising, this tarot is for you. All the tarot are message in the general perspective can probably resonate with you or not as I said as I mentioned check different videos depending of your moon Venus or rising but if you want to check the Sun here it is I am true please subscribe share and uh, enjoy this video how much I can I will be your guide today for this Aquarius June 2020 how you have been doing recently I have to say the Aquarius are uh, earth sign where can say that they know about emotions but they how when describe this situation they know about emotions but they do not express emotion how the people think they should be expressed so it's a situation where they feel sometimes they don't fit in the society how it is they are advanced in the time that they feel that the way that they express is the correct but the people do not you know educated to understand them yet probably which say that the overall message or the overall energy of this beautiful reading is between the king of pentacles and the two of wands earthy energy and uh, Sometimes you don't like rules, you don't like you like freedom, you don't like to feel in a cage and social distancing forced you to be in a cage, forced you to do things that you probably not enjoy 100% but it's good time for you to become quite more grounded and the king of one, king of, oh sorry, king of pentacles is here as a Taurus energy where it's saying that you need to be, no need, that you're ambitious but everything has to have the time and pace to make it happen and you have the two of ones they can have a side and a side sometimes you have the world in your hands where you conquest a really big part of your achievements or you are in a bit of a big position in your life right now where you feel that everything is stable it's fine it's predictable and uh, you need a little bit more a shake off but it's not the correct time for now to do it what it's saying that is go dig it deep in your value system and your um, grounding energy in your enrichment values when it's going to be the core of the belief and uh, support yourself how much you can to keep having wealth and uh, stability because the king of pentacles is going to ask you for stability but the two of one is telling you that don't get too much stuck in your day per day um, habits or don't get stuck in routine either so it's it's an energy pretty balanced between creativity and uh, rhythm. So probably this month for you is all about the rhythm of your own thoughts and your own creation or your own way to build something. Maybe I'm wrong, but let me see what is, is going to be in the heart of the matter. Sorry, I, I just changed and I don't have nothing. I have to change the cloth. So, uh, you have the strength, Leo energy. Let me just show. I do think that you're in a pretty, pretty position, as I said. You're pretty, I don't know what is the problem. I don't think that you're in the problem. You, it's really good news for you in this position that you are right now. The very calming sign and a very calming situation your life don't have too much trouble plus probably you have the influence of leo energy and this is your opposite the aquarius the opposites attract for some point both of you are fixed sign and both of you know how to fix the the environment around you in a different way so probably it's a shout out to do the change that you have to change as we talk about you know, to don't get caught up in routine, so probably you need to spark yourself with this fun and entertainment and <laughs> fire energy for now. Because you are an air sign, you're very logical, but when we jump into the strength with this Leo energy, they are very heart-centered. It's the sun, and the sun rules and, and warms everybody. It's not too cold, and sometimes you can get very 
I, I hate to say it, but you can get to another people the wrong impression that you are cold. And I do not think that queries are cold. But you need to understand your detachment towards your emotions. That is no bad thing. I think it's a clever thing, though. But when you have a Leo energy, it's sometimes say that it's safe for you to show up emotions. It's safe for you to let it go. It's safe for you to talk about it and don't suppress them. Or don't show them as it is and be calm all the time when supposed to not to be. Let yourself be a little bit more warming and dramatic because strength is a very dramatic card as well. It's very... Uh, history uh, is full of um, light and shine. I really like it. You're in a really good place, at least mentally and creative, and you are in peace with with that. And it's in a strong sense of of, of self identity. So you know you know pretty good who you are. Let me see what's challenging. Oh, Scorpio energy, King of Cups. Probably you have someone there that's triggering you or triggering you the emotional state of your feelings or your emotional state or how you manage emotionally your situation or your own experience or how is the value that you give to your emotions because the King of Cups is, is a masculine energy uh, you can see that he's sitting down, he's pretty sure about, you know, his position in his own sentiments. He, he knows about feelings, he knows about, you know, how to not control them, but embrace them. It's a high intu intuitive masculine energy, it's a very high and um, it's a guide as well, it's, it's a really nourishing guy. But I do think for you it's not a positive thing. For you it's a challenge. For you to accept emotions sometimes is a conflict or is something that you hang out with. You leave it on the side. That you prefer don't talk about it. Or you prefer don't don't show about it. You prefer to don't put it out about it. At some point, how the picture of emotions for you is so weird that sometimes you prefer to don't go even in and don't talk about it. So the King of Cups is a Scorpio energy. Scorpio is Plutonian. Pluto is transformation and is go to the darkness and, uh, well, face your fears, face what you don't like. And I do think that you're in the best place right now to do it. But let me just keep carry on before uh, I just advance a message for just two cards. Let me see where's the direction and why you are there. It's, it's what I was saying. <laughs> I love tarot. That's four of cups, my darling. Four of cups. You have embraced in the past. That's why you are in this position right now. That's why you are so strong. It's because you face a lot of disappointment. And this is a disappointment, I have to say, that probably is your fault. And don't hate me for saying this, because you have a lot of expectation towards people. You have a lot of expectation, you are waiting for people to do stuff that you expected the people to do, and that is a wrong thing. And I think you learned your lesson, because that's why you get so strong, emotionally, and you are literally facing, and even if it's a challenge, you will face your fears at some point. But I think... When you get out and take it off the expectation towards another people and also stop to be self-demanding with yourself, I think you can get more strong. And I think this is going to be related with um, personal relationships or uh, personal growth, self-discovery, self-environment, self, you know, self-narrative, everything that is related with your internal world, I do believe so. There's going to be the possible outcomes. There you go, Ace of Swords, that is you, well, it's all air signs, gonna be Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, is, is speak your word. And I speak loudly, fast communication and you will literally create a very, you will create a nice environment and you will create 
situations or experience towards communication but I do believe that this is telling you that you will speak your truth at some point so many things happen that you go to a strength car that you become a strong person that you are right now and it's because you have now the possibility to don't suppress your emotions to don't suppress your voice just because probably you have this conflict to understand it but you are able to speak out and I do believe that you're gonna have a lot of support once that your mouth is open but I don't know what's gonna happen if your mouth is open it will be yeah self-conflict there you go five of ones you have <sighs> this is internal conflict or you have a conflict with another people is more as a little conflict is not not too too heavy and five of ones is playful and sometimes it's more like a game or you know it's, it's not taken seriously but this is a serious for me because we are talking about a self enjoyment and self work you've been doing you will keep carry on having self conflict and don't take it off the idea because you become strong you will not get struggle you will have a struggle and I think well a pretty good struggle and I don't think so it's a bad way I, I do believe in a big part that because you are super self demanding and this is what happened to you you get the possibility to talk now but I you know that even if you talk because you're sharp and you say the stuff direct to the point you will create some conflict with people or even you will create a conflict with yourself because you're so self demanding but you are not taking off the idea to speak out and something that I really really like it it's, I really really like it but let me see your past over here there you go <laughs> three of swords okay when you have the three of swords here and I can totally feel that you well you can see it's a heartbroken and I don't think it's a relationship I do think that you're being really hard with yourself and another people could see it and because another people could see it can hurt you more and that's why you have this conflict every single time it's because you want to avoid this you want to avoid the grief you want to avoid the three of swords you don't want to actually come back to the position where disappointing yourself it makes sense to be honest that's why the option for you is to speak your truth and never stop you speak your truth you have already Saturn in Aquarius it's your sign and it's in Saturn Saturn is the teacher Saturn is the well it's cruel sometimes but they are gonna be you know doing things slowly until you get the lesson absolutely right and I do believe in you are in this state right now and your possibility is absolutely speak your truth because even if you're doing it, don't be afraid that you're gonna have a conflict because you are fighting to don't be hurt as you used to be or don't be hurt as I used to be in the past or not even in the past, in the few days ago or if we are gonna talk about a very old pattern of self-discovery you don't want to get make the same mistakes you were doing when you was young or when you was a very early situations or very early relationship with people that everything depending on the way that you take it so that's going to be the center, the self-center. Oh my God, you have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to show you over here how beautiful it is. That is the solution. I do think it's a bit of a big solution. Not train yourself, being grounded. And you're really good at to be grounded sometimes. Even if you are air sign, you are quite realistic. But that's why make you the only sign who can say this the forever student and the PhD. You are the forever scientist. You are the forever uh, revolutionary. But for be like that, you need to nourish yourself and you need in a big part of it, you know, to have a structure of the self, you know, in the in the Queen of Pentacles is quite part of this big solution that you can have for the next of the days of your life is because it's make you realistic even if you have the you know ideas outside the box and you're very you are a person who can bring 
innovative things and ideas to the world. All comes for the, you know, for the calm, compassionate, and nurturing, and nurturing Earth Queen Mother. <laughs> this is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. Of course it's going to be a slow, and you probably will not like it too slow. So don't go too much digging in this energy, because it will slow you down. But it's good, because Queen of Pentacles is a very protective... It's a higher protective and energy. It's not going to be easy to break you down. Once that you learn about yourself and the center of, of the solution that we are trying to get here. Because if you're too much in the air and you don't put the faith, you know, the, the, the foot on the floor and be realistic in what you can do and what you cannot do, you will be trapped in your overthinking and how, for example, because you're a fixed sign, so you want to uh, make solutions for so many different fields that you will be scattered. So you have to be careful and be more grounded. And that's why the task is coming for the Queen of Pentacles is telling you one task at a time. And I think this is challenging, or it can be the solution. All depends on how you can see um, this card coming from. I think if you go jump into Queen of Pentacles, there is Taurus energy, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. You will see that they are super practical. And I do believe that they are telling you whatever think, whatever thoughts, whatever ideas that come to your brain, make it happen in a practical way. I think that is the challenge for you. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles, how the people see you if I'm not wrong. And you are a hard worker. Or you are already, you know, working in your emotional world. You are already putting the effort, and I'm gonna just show you the Eight of Pentacles, how that look. You are mastering under practice over and over again to have a better connection with your own emotions, to have a more healthy emotional state and I do believe that people are appreciating the people I see your hard work the people are embracing the work and also they're helping you out and they are giving you experience and they are giving you situations to make you grow even you don't like it though the people are making you situations in society and in love and yourself and in work and career that you are not gonna like it but it's mastering you and it's telling you and it's bothering you in the back in your in your head to say you have to master a little bit more your emotions and stop to be that you are not a robot you are not an alien you are a person with human with limits beliefs and you need to dig it in you like it or not that's what i do think this has come from but the hopes and fears the nine of swords overthinking depression anxiety what actually will happen if you don't don't get in touch with your emotions in a healthy way, you can come out of control and you are really afraid to happen this. Maybe you're in a situation, in a recent situation that you're getting out to anxiety or you're getting out to depression or Maybe you're a woman and you have this time of cycle where you have PMS, PMDD, most of the women have it, like 80% of them. And uh, it's when actually our serotonin go down and the, the depression can come in, release again the feelings of depression, no state of depression. So this Nine of Swords, if you see, is cannot be resting. This person not rest is too many things, is too many in his head. Don't go too much in your head because you can come from here and you will suffer. You will suffer this again because you are not letting this King of Cups to teach you how to understand emotion in a logical way. You need to stop blaming your emotions. You need to stop blaming yourself. Embrace how it actually happened. And if you have to, if you need to cry, do it. And if you feel that you have to call someone, do it. The Nine of Swords is all the time here as a warning card, as a red flag. That is one of the most fears for anyone, not just for you. But I do believe that if you are clever enough that you are, because Aquarius are one of the most resilient, clever designs that I know, and I have a really good friend, Aquarius. If you get in touch with this in a logical way, 
and then you have conflict because you will have conflict to say why I do be why I do behave like this, why do people respond to me like this, why 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 and you get this conflict over here, but you still don't letting your emotions to rise up, you will get into that state of emotion that don't understand why this is happening to you or why you are feeling in the way that you are feeling. And because you don't find an answer and you don't want to embrace the feeling, you will get in the state of anxiety or a state of depression or a state of a lower energy. But this is, is very easy to avoid. It's just go to your strength. What is the strong for you? It's your magical, beautiful, logical mind. Go with the king of swords. Let him to show you. Go with the dark. Go deep. Even if you don't like it. We have a lunar eclipse in, in Sagittarius. Everything that you are not going to see is nothing new. So you will not be scared. Because you, what you are doing is avoiding and putting aside something that was inevitable. The change is inevitable and it's coming. So it's much easier for you if you go to King of Cups and go dig it deep deep in what actually happened in your emotional state. Let me see what is in the outcome over here. Justice. Libra. That's going to be your friend over here. Another another air sign. It's time. When justice comes, will be everything absolutely right and fair for you. So you will not feel regret or you will not feel um, a situation where if you go to all of this process, I mean, you will say it's worth it. You will say, okay, go deep and admit it and understand why people feel the way that they feel because I understood in my way how I did feel in such a situation. It's absolutely right. And will be bring you balance in a really big way. And balance between your logical mind and your emotional mind. It'll bring you balance between your heart and your thoughts, as I say here. Because this is not balance. This is going to be very painful. So because you don't want this, and I think no one does, you're going to come back to a position where it's going to be Libra. And Libra is dialogue, very calm, and it's going to teach you in a very big part to be balanced between, as I said, the emotional mind and the uh, logical mind. That is the tarot reading. Makes a lot of sense between King of Pentacles and Two of Wands as a general message over here. Because it's telling you, pace yourself. Conquist another part of yourself that you never saw before. Take your time, because it's worth it. Because it brings you balance in life. Just basically at the end, the justice is Libra. will say everything about balance, so don't be afraid to jump in you know, and do some therapy if you need it, talk with people, um, try to understand yourself from the compassionate way, stop be self-demanding in a way to be too much for what you expect from yourself, you know. I think everything comes on time for you, and justice is a very balanced, and it's a really nice and balanced card that you will probably take it a bunch of it. So be compassionate, take your time, remember the king of, the king of pentacles is taking you to slow down, all right? So, uh, carry on with the next cards will be uh, the love reading and say, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Are you now, uh, don't kill me and don't hate me. <laughs> the, are you now feeling a little bit desperate or you really want to get in a relationship soon as you can? Because more that you force the universe, less is gonna come. It's much easier to just leave to the universe what you really wanted from your partner. Keep carrying on working in yourself first and give strength to your emotions first. Because it's super easy to come back to the three of swords because we want to rush stuff. I do believe that the love uh, angel oracles is saying don't lose your hope but don't rush either. And say stay optimistic is probably that you've been looking, 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 looking desperate to, to find out someone and every single time that someone come is not what you expected. Or they don't do the things that you expected for, so you come back to the Three of Swords. So be careful and how much rush and how much movement and fast 
energy you want from this relationship or for any relationship that's coming to your um, to your life so don't be either super pessimistic be optimistic of your self-work because you will know that from this because bring your balance the partner will come and the time that will be perfect when you are ready not desperate or feeling needy or clingy so you, it's not proper from you to feel like this Aquarius you are very independent so yes the when is gonna be the earth magic you will have vision quest take the things in perspective and Probably if you see desert, desert, no, desert, you will see there is um, a solitary road, it's hot, and it's not too much going on when you go to the desert. Mm, it's difficult to say, but I think it's a lonely journey, because no one can do this work, no one can ask you you know, you need to work in your emotions. You can say it, but no one can do it for you. And I think Earth Magic is telling you, you have to take the perspective and you have to start the journey. That's my feelings though. Then you have the universal message that is uh, the pressing of love will always cast out fear. Look at that. Telling you, love yourself and kick out the fear. Don't be afraid. And if you are, do it anyway. <laughs> As the book say. If you are afraid, just jump into your fellow Leo sign. If you have friends, that I do think that you will do. Talk with your Leo friends. They are massive support. It's a very supportive people. And don't be, you know, and if you are afraid, do it anyway. Jump into an emotional state. Go for it. And understand it. Embrace it and keep carrying on with your life because it will be absolutely a balance between your magical, magical, sorry, your logical mind and your heart desires. Thank you so much for joining me one more time to this beautiful reading for Aquarius in June 2020. I hope my cut for the camera will not distract you. The camera stopped after 20 minutes every single time that I do, so it's difficult to carry on a full video without cuts. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be June Tarot reading for 2020. If you like more, it's already out the fire signs. I will put the, the link in the corner over here. Please subscribe, give me feedback, share with your friends. And if this resonate with you, please, please, please let me know in your comments below. So then I will know if this will help you or not. Thank you so much for everything, guys. Hope to see you soon and take care. Bye-bye.